everybody, Martin with Flickin' Feathers today. Um, today I'm tying a wee, uh, these wee flats fly, uh, the bongo fly. Slight variation in the original pattern, but pretty close. So basically I've changed the hook and uh, couple of materials but to all intents and purposes it's the same pattern. So tying this for trigger fish, so I've used um, an owner fly liner uh, and this is a size 2. It's a live bait hook but it's a very heavy wire as you can see. Um, much heavier than sort of your standard bone fish hooks. Uh, and there's a wee crab. I don't know if you can see the difference. So you you know much thinner. Your TM codes and that will just not cut. They just won't do if you're going for trigger fish. On a fly liner, gamma catsu live bait hook, something like that. So I've run on a bed of fluorescent orange thread. But you could use pink or tan, chartreuse if you like, up to yourself. Whatever, whatever colour scheme you like. And I've just got two strands of uh, crystal flash here. Just got to fold it over the thread and then tie it back. Make sure you just pull it straight up so that you don't end up with it sort of to one side. Next I'm going to tie in my eyes, just a, wee pair of, a little pair of dumbbell eyes, offer them on at the bend. Figurate them on nice and tight. Make sure they're nice and even, and then get some locking wraps in there. Nice and tight, they will not move. And then just to make sure, I can add a bit of super glue. Just to make sure everything's locked firmly in place. The next thing to do is flip the fly over and uh, tie in your legs. I'm just using barred silly legs. You can use whatever legs you prefer, whatever colour you like. And half half of a leg is enough. So I'll take my leave my thread a bit closer to the tying point. Fold the leg over the thread. Or the half. So half a leg this is half a length, remember. And just pull it tight and tie right back to the eyes. And that's them, um, and they should be pretty even. They might, they might just need a wee, a wee trim to even them up, and I'll trim the crystal flash just slightly longer than that. Now, the the main, or the rest of this fly in original, I believe, was tied with um, seal fur, which is a sort of craft fur like material. It's C E A L F U R R. Right, it's not the seals that I've got. Seal for like we use for dry flies or whatever. But um, I'm sort I'm swapping it out for a mix of fin raccoon. 
and orange. You don't need much. Just a wee sparse bunch, and if you run some Velcro through, it really loosens it up. Because yeah, it makes it like it makes it work much nicer, I think. And then. So I offer it up. I like this to be just about the same length as the rubber legs. And a couple of turns will hold it. You can just check for position. That'll do me. Then I'll tighten it up. Trim, trim the waist the length of the body so you get a nice even underbody and then cover everything up before we go any further so then take the thread back to the eye or the, the eyes, the, the weight make a dubbing loop Now I've already prepared some tan EP fiber in a clip. Right, just turn this this way so you can see it a bit. You know it's about ten or twelve mil long. I'll just offer that into my loop. Oops, careful. And then get my spinner in. And when it's closed, just spread the fibres. Get it quite even. You don't want it too heavy, it's quite nice if you can see the orange thread through the spun loop. And then get that spun and spin it really tight. EP fibre's pretty slippy, so. You need to make sure it's thoroughly 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 spun up and then you can just wind the loop forward and you can see that the sort of translucency of the EP fibre and the thick hot orange thread Let's the, let's the sort of colours stick through a wee bit, which is quite nice, I think. Then, when you get to the front, a couple of turns, a thread across the loop, then fold it back and do the same again. Right, that locks it very securely in place, it can never pull out and then just sweep it and it's going forward back, just make sure it's nice and neat and then Finishes. Don't worry about having a. I, I don't mind a, a sort of pronounced head here. It's a nice wee hot spot. And then all that's left to do is just come in and trim this fairly short. the way around. Give yourself a nice wee shrimpy profile. And uh, there you have it. The bongo. Or the bongo fly. Catches bonefish. Um, I caught a few bonefish on them last month. In Mexico, it's also 
good for triggers and any other wee species you'll be able to catch a few different species in this um, nice wee flat slide you can tie them larger too if you if you want so that's it I hope you enjoyed it I hope, it, I hope it's useful and I hope you can tie some of these flies up and go and catch yourself a few fish in them um, so thanks very much for watching guys remember to give me a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe for more HD fly tying videos thanks a lot Bye.